welcome back today I'm just gonna do a quick video of kind of all of the cosmetic mods that I've done to the bike thus far the bike itself really has um, honestly it's been inspired um, the look of it has been inspired by others who have uh, who got the bike before I did now um, there's a, a lot of individuals who are who were in Florida that I followed um, and then out in California that I followed that uh, got the SP first and they started doing their mods to it and so um, individuals like uh, uh, Sophia out in California um, Blockhead in, in Florida and uh, Yamayari he's in Florida he didn't have the SP but uh, I like some of the mods he, he, he had on his bike because uh, it's the same thing um, so I kind of mimicked uh, some of their modifications on this bike um, and I think that looks really I think it looks really nice but I'll just go through some of the stuff that I did again cosmetically um, and for, for protection wise on the bike itself so let's take a look all right first you'll notice Okay, first you'll notice is these Evil Tech axle guards or axle sliders, however you want to call them. Um, I put those on. Um, they do spin like that. If you can see that, they spin like that. And I almost over torqued it because I w I'm expecting it to not spin. But when I went back to some of the the manual or the manual that they had or the install instructions or whatever um i had to find it online i don't think they i don't remember them sending it with with the actual part so i had to go find it online they say it does spin <laughs> like that so do not over torque it i got very close to it because i was expecting it to not spin so i got this um on both sides obviously i'm not going to show the other side just for the sake of time because obviously it's pretty much mirrored on the other side so i got the evo tech axle sliders for the front um i removed if you guys if you guys remember um if you paid attention to this bike there there are reflectors that are sitting right here on both sides i did um uh, remove those as well um just for a cleaner look i just didn't really like that reflector on there um and so i took that off as well easy on the other side as well just a bolt i believe it was bolted right here there was a bracket right here um and it was bolted right here so i just unbolted it and took it took it off and put the bolt back in all right next were these asv levers brake and clutch At first, when I got them, I was like, oh, moly, it was the wrong one. They gave me the wrong one. But then, upon closer review, then upon closer review, I was just not as smart as they were. Um, these were very easy to put on. As you can see, um, they go forward to kind of help that. There's a pin in here that actually helps push that portion um in as you hit the brakes like that and i know that some individuals who have put uh grease in there uh, to help kind of hold it in place because it will drop out the bottom here this portion it will drop out the the, the bottom portion here um but for some reason mine was in there pretty snug um and it fit just perfectly so i didn't have to put any gel in there i probably should have just for grease purposes right to keep it lubricated well but i didn't because it didn't get stuck and i got these again these are influenced by blockhead honestly because i really like the color scheme how it matches here so um i got those as well all right then moving to the front this windshield here i got that one from Amazon it was a cheap one it was a knockoff I think it was a knockoff of the uh, the German one that was like 200 I was like mm, I don't know about that so I bought this from Amazon luckily it fit and it looked exactly like the 200 one so I got that the finish is not as nice um, but it works 
and that's all I care about really and then going back up to the top here are the CRG bar ends here as you can see they do fold inward like that that's helped me uh, a ton in some areas some tight squeezes uh, I got these and the the actual ones that came or the stock ones don't fit so you have to buy the actual adapter that goes on the inside here and really a quick shout out to blockhead too because he was the one that sh like showed this to me um, that made a video of this as well that you have to actually grind the adapter the crg adapter that you have that they that they sell to you you actually have to grind it down for this to actually fit properly so um, kudos to him for finding that out and doing that and letting basically me know um, I had to actually go buy a grinder because I didn't have one obviously so I had to go buy a grinder to actually get that done correctly and if we come out to the front of the bike here you can see here the stock mirrors the replacement bolts that came for the stock mirrors um, basically it's just a block off plate right this is kind of like a block off plate if we go down to the front here if i can get in here close enough give me a sec and you can see i got the evotech radiator guard Protect against those silly rocks that wants to puncture the old radiator. And then here we got the frame sliders from Evotech as well. And if we go to the back here, right there. We've got the rear axle sliders here, spring arm uh, or the uh, swing arm spool here, and these are all Evo Tech. This is Evo Tech, and this is uh, Womit, right? I got this from uh, or Womit Tech. I got these from TST Industries. I just got these off of online uh, from the Evotech website itself. And I got Bucky here for $3.99. Uh, he helps me with about, I believe he gives like 0.5 horsepower um, and about maybe a point and a half for, for cool points. And then we come up right here I just recently got the uh, I believe these are called snake skin tech spec uh, tank grippers here and just put these on they've helped out tremendously because I've cleaned this tank with a lot of uh, I guess cleaning material and then the tank has become like slippery <laughs> so I've noticed I was slipping a lot when riding the bike and trying to grip the tank so i was like oh it's time i think it's time then i got the center one here as well this portion here um, and obviously it's just mimicked on the other side for the tank as well now going back to the front a little bit is you'll notice these turn signals here these are from TST Industries. They are the Front Mech GTR signals. I have this in, the signal itself is amber, but the actual halo light that is kind of their daytime running light is the uh, the white one or the super white or something of that nature. I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, I don't know if it's gonna really pick up here in the sun, but I can turn it on. And we can kind of see what the the daytime running lights kind of look like hopefully you're able to pick that up so if i cover it like that you can see kind of the glow that it has here kind of like a super white or something of that nature tst industries did a very good job of 
kind of instructions or videos that they made and also they did they had a lot of plug and play stuff i'm not a wiring dude so i spent a little bit extra money on just getting all their plug and play stuff to make it easy for me um, so everything was very easy in regards to um, electrical work when it came to installing these and the pod signals that i'll show you here in a second um, that are in the back so speaking of that here are the pod signals that i bought from ts tree industries as well And they mounted right to the back of the screw. There's a screw right here that looks exactly like that screw. Or uh, that looks exactly like that screw right there. And it was right here. And so we mounted it there. It was a bit tricky because you do have to, the wire, you can't twist the wire, right? So you have to spin this to tighten it at the same time you're spinning the wire on the inside so that was a little bit tricky um, because of the the space just the uh, limited uh, space that was inside the uh, the area here where all the battery and the electronics are so it was a little bit difficult to actually do that but everything worked out just fine it looks good uh, part of the tail tidy here is this aluminum block off plate from TST Industries. Everything, again, everything back here in regards to elimination of the whale tail that they gave us is from TST Industries. I think TST Industries did a very, very good job with the machining of these plates, this block off plate, and the kind of how it fits back here. So it looks, I mean, I'm totally satisfied with that. So here's the block off plate, the keyhole here still works just fine it doesn't interfere with that at all beautiful plate i think it's uh, the low mount position i think it's uh, i like it but i know that in some states you'll probably get uh you'll probably get hassled more than i have been um so um just know what your state is and your i guess the local officers and see how hard they're going to come down on you for having that kind of low mount um, plate on there so and last but not least is this USB adapter here um, I bought this from uh, eBay undoubtedly this part here was the one part that I waited the longest for uh, for some reason it is a direct plug-and-play um, the mounting solution is here but in the advertisement they say to mount it here and i'm like what you crazy it doesn't even fit so i tried that it doesn't fit and then i found another video of, of another individual who bought this same exact one and they mounted it here so kudos to that individual sorry i can't remember your name um but kudos to them for showing that and it does run as you can see here's the wire for the usb unit it runs down here into the headlight assembly where it does have a gray um kind of already ready usb port that you can just plug into or uh, the, the other female port that's in already in here that they built into the bike uh, and lastly this ram mount Hey, I'm old school. It's cool. I like the Ram mount. It works. I know a lot of people going with the quad lock. I love the quad lock too. It looks really cool. But I just didn't want to spend any more money. I already had this from the old R6 that I had. And so I just bought this particular bracket here. This U bracket here. Um, and already had all these other pieces to the mount. So I just used that. So I did not want to spend money on that. And so as you can see um, I have done quite a bit to the bike in regards to just um, protection um, and just kind of um, cosmetic and then some really kind of uh, other things well one other thing which is uh, what I'm considering the USB adapter is just another thing uh, just really kind of help charge the phone 
but <clears throat> again thank you guys so much for watching this is just kind of a short video of me showing you what i've done on the bike and kind of the future things for the bike that i plan to have on it so see you guys on the next one